The European Romantic movement reached America during the early 19th century. Like the Europeans, the American Romantics demonstrated a high level of moral enthusiasm, commitment to individualism, and the unfolding of the self, an emphasis on intuitive perception and the assumption that the natural world was, natural, was inherently good while human society was filled with corruption. Romanticism became popular in American politics, philosophy, and art. The movement appealed to the revolutionary spirit of America, as well as to those longing to break free of the strict religious traditions of the early settlement period. The Romantics rejected rationalism and religious intellect. The Romantics appealed especially to the opponents of Calvinism, a pro Protestant sect that believes the destiny of each individual is preordained by God. Relation to Transcendentalism The Romantic movement gave rise to New England Transcendentalism, which portrayed a less restrictive relationship between God and the universe. The new philosophy presented the individual with a more personal relationship with God. Transcendentalism and Romanticism appealed to Americans in a similar fashion, both privileged feeling over reason and re an individual freedom of expression over the restraints of tradition and cu custom. Romanticism often involved a rapturous response to nature and promised a new blossoming of American culture. And so Romanticism was the first literary movement uh, for American literature. And Romanticism emphasized the beauty of nature, emotions, and you talk about yourself and a personal relationship to God. Romantic themes. The Romantic movement in America was widely popular and influenced American writers such as James Fenimore Cooper. Okay, he's the one who wrote The Last Mohican and Washington Irving. Novels, short stories, and poems replaced the sermons and manifestos of earlier days. Romantic literature was personal and intense. It portrayed more emotion than ever than seen in neoclassical literature. America's preoccupation with freedom became a great source of motivation for romantic writers, as many were delighted in free expression and emotion without fear of ridicule and controversy. The romantic writers also put more effort into the psychological development of their characters, and the main characters typically ex display extremes of sensitivity and excitement. The works of the Romantic era also differed from the preceding works in that they spoke to a wider audience, partly reflecting the greater distribution of books as costs came down and literacy rose during this time period. The Romantic period also saw an increase in female authors and writers and readers. Prominent Romantic writers. Romantic poetry in the United States can be seen as early as 1818 with William Cullen Bryant to a waterfall. American Romantic Gothic literature made an early appearance with Washington Irving's the Legend of Sleepy Hollow, 1820, and Rip Van Winkle, 1819, and followed from 1823 onward by the leather stocking tales of James Fenimore Cooper. In his popular novel, Last of the Mohicans, Cooper expressed romantic ideals about the relationship between man and nature. These works had an emphasis on heroic simplicity and fervent landscape descriptions of an already exotic, mythicized frontier peopled by noble savages. Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of the Macabre and his balladic poetry were more influential in France than at home, but the romantic American novel developed fully with the atmosphere and melodrama of Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter. Later transcendentalist writers such as Henry David Thoreau and Ralph Waldo uh, Emerson still showed elements of its influence and imagination 
as does the romantic realism of Walt Whitman. Emerson, a leading transcendentalist writer, was highly influenced by Romanticism, especially after meeting leading figures in the European Romantic movement in the 1830s. He is best known for his romantic uh, influenced essays such as Nature, 1836, and Self-Reliance, 1841. The poetry of Emily Dickinson, practically unread in her own time, and Herman Melville's novel Moby Dick can be taken as great classics of American Romantic literature. By the 1880s, however, psychological and social realism was competing with Romanticism in the novel. And that would be because of the Civil War. So I hope that you enjoyed my short on Romanticism. And so in this video, we talk mainly about the very first literary movement in American literature, which is the Romantic era or romanticism where the novels focused on emotion the self and beauty of nature and the personal relationship to God and during this time period uh, settlers were settling um, taking away the land of the Indians with the Indian Removal Act which the um, European Americans or the settlers saw this as a sign of American progress while the Native Americans did not see the taking away of their land as progress. And so that's, this is the, so when you watch Westerns uh, of the wild, wild West, well, this is the time period that the Western romanticizes, is the 19th century when the settlers were uh, taking the land away from the, from the Native Americans. The Native Americans see this time period as a tragic time period where they lost everything. They lost their land, they lost their culture, and they ended up uh, in reservations. So depending on who you're talking to, the, the t this time period could either be seen as a time of great progress with the settling and establishment of America, or as a time of great loss, such as a trail of tears, as as in the Native Americans who were uprooted from their lands. And so during this time period um, in literature, in art, it was the romantic um, romanticism where everything appealed to emotion. And the American writers wanted to write a distinctly American version of romanticism, which they did. And so um, as you look through my PowerPoint, you will see different novels like Moby Dick and uh, The Scarlet Letter are all examples of romantic novels. And in our class, we studied, um, we also studied um, Edgar Allan Poe, Tell Tell Heart, which is gothic, which is horror. So um, the Romantic era is uh, the, the time period of great creativity among American writers, where Americans wanted to show off the American spirit, the freedom, freedom of self-expression, and each writer would write about their, the re their region from which they came from. And that was known as regionalism. And each one would write about their dialect. In other words, the characters would talk in certain dialects. So um, I, hope you I hope you enjoy my introduction to Romanticism in American Literature. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.